Hey YouTube, have you ever seen a website like CoinGecko and seen the prices for all these different crypto projects and wondered, how can I get this data into something like Google Sheets? Um, look no further. Today I'm going to introduce you to a tool called API Connector. Uh, this is a great extension for Google Sheets uh, that's code free and very user friendly. So we can start by heading over to mixedanalytics.com um, or you can search in Google API Connector is fine. And what you can do is head over here and take a look at this tool. Essentially what API Connector does is it allows you to pull in this raw data from an API provided by a website or a service into Google Sheets. Uh, as we can see in the example here, uh, we're grabbing some songs by Coldplay and pulling that data directly into Google Sheets. So you can start by installing it and it's free to use up to eight calls per day. So for the use of this tutorial, we won't hit that limit. Um, so you can go ahead and snag it now and follow along. Um, I've already installed it, so I'm not gonna worry about it, um, but you can go ahead and follow the instructions. It's pretty straightforward. So once you have it installed, um, you'll notice over here in Google Sheets, under add-ons, you'll see API Connector as one of the add-ons that you can use, right? So let's take a step back and talk a little bit about what APIs are. So an API stands for an Application Programming Interface. In, in simple English, that's basically the way that websites and services and everything on the internet communicates back and forth. You can kind of think of that as the raw data that's going between these different services. So when we look at a website like CoinGecko, behind this nice interface, is actually the raw data that's coming from CoinGecko's servers. And a lot of times websites and services will release this data for free to the public via an API. So understanding this and knowing that they exist is uh, really useful and you can get a lot of information for free on the internet in this way. Um, so what we can do to find that is normally on a usual website, you can scroll down to the bottom and look for something that says API or like resources or something like that. Um, I don't see it here, so we can also look at the top and check one of these tabs like uh, resources and boom, there it is, API right here. So if we open this link, um, we'll see that there's some shout outs and so forth. Um, and these are going to be the different endpoints and data that we can collect from CoinGecko's API. Um, so let's start by heading over to their documentation. You can see in this link right here. Um, and it's going to basically give us a list of these different endpoints. So whenever you're building an API request, you're always going to start with the base URL, which is usually going to be somewhere at the top in the documentation. And on that, you will append endpoints. So the base URL is like the domain, uh, where do you wanna get the data from? And the endpoint says what data you want to get. So let's start by copying this base URL and heading back over to Google Sheets. If we go into add-ons and open API connector, we can just hit start here. Um, and basically we can start by saying add new and we'll go ahead and define our URL path. So always start with the HTTPS uh, colon slash slash uh, whenever you're doing this, it's not always included in the documentation. So we'll go ahead and paste on that base URL. Next, uh, we wanna get some information from CoinGecko. So let's say, for example, we wanna get the price of Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and another coin. We can figure that out in a moment, right? So how do we do that? Well, if we head over the documentation, it's going to give us that answer here, right? Uh, whenever you're using an API, the domain or the service is always going to store the data or objects that you want to get, uh, usually with a unique ID. Um, for Bitcoin, for example, it could be BTC, but it might be something different like a hashed string, which is just a bunch of random letters and numbers, right? And so usually the best way to get that information, and what I always do when using API Connector is I make a primary sheet that's like coin list or object list or IDs uh, in order to pull that information in and have it as a reference for later use. So if you look in the documentation, uh, we'll want to look for something that says something related to like IDs. And it looks like this endpoint is the goal. So it says list all supported coin IDs, name and symbol. Use this to obtain all coins ID in order to make API calls. So I think this is right on the money. And um, there's no parameters we need to set. So we can go ahead and copy uh, this endpoint. Uh, it'll let me. I'm really bad at doing this. Okay. 
So we can go ahead and copy this endpoint and we can append it to the end of that existing base URL. Um, and we shouldn't need to put any other information here other than setting a destination sheet. So I'll just send it to coin lists since this is the coin list endpoint. And then we'll call this something like get coin lists, for example. And then when we hit run, well, we're going to populate this tab with uh, IDs, uh, symbol and name or something like that. Um, so then, boom, there it is. Um, we can make this a little bit easier to scroll through because it's roughly 6,009 different crypto projects. That's quite a bit. So let's go ahead and freeze the first row just to make it a little bit easier. And we can even bold it up a little bit. And let's go ahead and look for Bitcoin. So if we type in Bitcoin, uh, we can see we have like a lot of like Bitcoin futures or like other hedging tools. I don't know. I'm not into this investing thing. So we can go through and then, of course, we found the original Bitcoin and even Bitcoin 2 if you really want. Who invests in that? What is that? Um, so let's go ahead and just make a, another sheet and we'll just call it IDs and we can paste those in over here for later reference, right? The next coin we can get, let's just say Dogecoin, for example. Uh, it's one of my favorites because uh, it's cute and it's fun and it's a big joke to like all crypto projects. Uh, we can go ahead and paste that in here. And then let's just go ahead and grab another random one just for fun. Let's uh, spin the wheel. Uh, R rabbit coin. That sounds interesting. Or okay, the symbol's B or B. What? <laughs> Anyways, so let's go ahead and grab that ID rabbit dash coin, and then we'll put it back over in our IDs list. Now, if we want to get the value of these different things pulled into a sheet. Uh, let's say we can call the sheet info on three. We're going to need to call a different endpoint using these IDs as parameters. So if we head back over to CoinGecko's API, we can see near the top there is an endpoint called simple slash price, and it says get the current price of any cryptocurrencies and any other supported currencies that you need. So we're given two parameters that are required, IDs and versus currencies. So if we head back over to API connector sidebar, uh, we can go ahead and save this one since we know it's working. To make this easier, I like to go and copy any existing requests um, because it just makes it a little bit easier with the domain already inserted. I only need to change the endpoint. So basically, I'll grab slash simple slash price, and I'll go ahead and paste that onto the end after V3. And then, as we said earlier in the documentation, we're going to need to get IDs and versus currencies. So the way to create parameters on an API URL, the first one always starts with a question mark at the very end of the endpoint. So we'll say IDs equals, and then we'll put in the name of the IDs that we found. So we have Bitcoin, and note they are comma separated, as we can see here. Sometimes they use a different way of separating. But anyways, it's comma separated. So Bitcoin, Dogecoin, and rabbit dash coin, okay? But we notice we have another parameter we need to add. And so in order to do that with versus currencies, you do not use another question mark. You would use an ampersand. So we say ampersand versus currencies equals US dollar. And let's just say Taiwan dollar because Taiwan's number one, right? So once we have these posted in, we'll basically head down and we'll change to info on three as the current sheet that we want to put this data in and we'll say get info on three for example we'll hit save and then hit run and shortly our list should populate yes we did so rabbit coin is worth nothing basically uh bitcoin's pretty high right now and dogecoin is also not even a us penny yet or not even close to a taiwan dollar which is also pretty small um, so there you have it. Uh, that's a little introduction about how you use API connector with CoinGecko. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support email at Mixed Analytics, or you can hit subscribe and stay tuned to more videos to come. Thanks for watching, guys. Take it easy.